Hey guys, welcome to Little Miss Keto. I'm Jackie, and if you're starting the keto diet, I know it's really easy to miss comfort foods like pasta. So today I'm going to show you a pasta alternative that you can have that's only 8.8 .8 carbs a serving. First, you're going to want to get a spaghetti squash, and you want to chop it in half. Be careful because it likes to fight you. Once you have it in half, you're going to want to scoot out the guts like you would a pumpkin. So just grab a spoon and go to town. Just, it's satisfying sometimes. Take the anger you have at the spaghetti squash when cutting it and rip out its guts. <laughs> Use your residual anger. If you like to eat pumpkin seeds, I'm sure you could probably eat those. I don't know, I have never tried. Let me know if you tried in the comments. This is oh yeah, and make sure you have a wet paper under your cutting board if you have a plastic one like me. That way you don't Cut yourself and you cut this thing open. After you have it cleaned out and cut in half, you're going to want to get about anywhere between a tablespoon or to two and just drench it in oil. Just enough that your spices will cling to it and you know you can cover it so it doesn't burn. spices out. You can mix and match of course according to your preference, but for my recipe I'm just going to use about a teaspoon of granulated garlic spread out between the two halves. A teaspoon of pepper spread out between the two. It might seem like a lot of spices at first, but you gotta remember they're not staying at the top. Once they're all done cooking, we're gonna scrape it and mix it all together. Oh yes, that was a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of granulated onion, a teaspoon of pink salt, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then just massage it into the flesh. If it all gathers to one area, it's fine. We're mixing it all together anyways. Okay, once it's cut and seasoned, you're going to want to get a baking sheet with tin foil and spray it down with a little bit of your oil of choice and just plop it down upside down. While you were preparing the spaghetti squash, you would have wanted to preheat your oven at 400 degrees. You're going to want to leave this in for about 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, for the filling part of our pasta, we're going to want about two ounces of cream cheese. You want to pull it out a little early so it can get to room temperature. You're going to want about two ounces of real parmesan, preferably the real kind, not the, the green can version, but if that's what you got, that's what you got. And you're going to want to have a little extra on the side for garnish. And then you're going to want between six to eight ounces of mozzarella. I prefer to grate my own mozzarella because the bad kind tends to have a little bit of starch on it and starch is just extra carbs so it's better just to grate it yourself. So just grate it until you have a block or
or so of your cheese. For convenience, mix your Parmesan in with the mozzarella so it has an even distribution. You don't have to, but it always tastes a little better when it's all mixed in. And here we have it, cheesy spaghetti squash pasta. Each serving is only 8.8 .8 net carbs, so let's get some salt bay action. 